Welcome to H2K Infosys. H2K Infosys is a e-verify business based in Atlanta, Georgia, United States. We provide 100% job-oriented, instructor-led, face-to-face, true live online software training programs. It also includes access to Cloud Test Lab with software tools. We provide live projects for you to work on. We also provide assistance with mock interviews, resume preparation and review, and job placement assistance. H2K Infosys is trusted by so many students across the world. H2K Infosys provides world-class services in IT training with real-time project work for corporates and individuals, special IT training for MS students in the United States, software design development, QA manual and automation, performance testing and maintenance, IT staff augmentation, job placement assistance and tech support. Open uh, after the URL if you don't mention anything, it will try to take the base URL. If you don't mention any base URL, uh, basically it will not work. Okay. Uh, is it clear, Judy? Explain to me what is framework. Uh, Judy, you know, we will have a separate session on framework. Uh, in simple words, framework means uh, you know, arranging all the automation artifacts in logical order to get the maximum reusability. In simple words, okay. We will have a detailed discussion on you know, types of frameworks. We, you know, at the end of the course, we are going to create a framework too. Okay, we are going to create hybrid framework. Yes, uh, yes, Bala, what's your question? Uh, still showing correcting uh, to you. Okay, well, uh, let me unmute you. Yeah, any other questions from anyone? Yes, Bala? What? Kumar, um, I have a question. For example, if you close the Mozilla Firefox everything, and if you open the, the step, whichever you are doing, that send keys, um, like not, not from the uh, starting, like entering Amazon, uh, Google, Amazon, everything, can we close all the Mozilla and open it and go start from the second step itself? Like, you know, it will enter in the box laptops. So, can we... Okay, okay. I got your question. See, without uh, no performing these two steps, you know, yes. so we, you know by closing this Amazon... You know, yes. okay. Mozilla for Firefox browser okay. and reopen it and do, can we uh, execute from the, the third step? Yeah, yeah, I will explain, yeah. Okay. And Sirisha is also asking the same type of question. Do we need to open browser to start uh, from uh, middle of the script? Yeah. Uh, see here, uh, how can I explain this one? Yeah. I hope everyone knows the railway track, right? It has two parallel lines. Okay, so in the same in, in the similar way, our application and the script should be in the same page. Okay, whenever you know I want to start from the middle of the script. Say I want to start from here. My application should also be in the same page. Then only my script will work. Okay, otherwise it will not work. Because it is, it, it, it don't have any supernatural power to open the application and all. Okay, we have to give that, uh, you know, uh, we have to give that option here. So it means both is, uh, it should be in parallel. It should be in sync in terms of, in terms of, you know, uh, what is the current application is showing? What is the current line of code that we are executing? Now, if it is there only, it will execute. Otherwise, it will not execute. Okay. Yeah, the answer is it will not execute Sirisha, uh, Bala it will not execute, okay? It will throw errors, it will throw the errors. So in simple words, now I was explaining uh, this railway track, right? 
So both these should be in parallel. This application that we are executing and the script both should be in parallel. Then only this uh, no script uh, this execution will go and smoothly. And now we are going to discuss about this options. See here options here. Uh, reset IDE window means it will reset the you know IDE window and it will try to you know uh, this resizing and all that happens here. Okay. And clipboard format means you know when we uh, you know what is the default format that you would like to uh, you know save your script. Uh, you know what is the default format that you want to export your script into. Okay. And I have selected Java JNS for WebDriver. Okay. So I can uh, export when uh, you know it is something like instead of when, whenever if you don't want to view this HTML view, okay, you can directly see the you can directly when you record your script you can directly see a Java related script here. Of course, for that we have to select this clipboard format as well as we have to change something in these options. I will explain that. Okay, and see here format. If you observe here the format here it is showing as HTML. Let me resize a bit. Let me see here options, format. Let me select this uh, Java JNN for web driver. Can you see here? The same thing is converted. It is the uh, same thing is showing in this in this format. This is nothing but Java code. Okay. But however, this table is uh, you know this disabled. Directly the source is enabled. Okay. Format. Okay, format I have selected this option because of this reason this particular uh, script is converted into Java web driver format in similar way you can convert it into other way say C sharp web driver C sharp and unit this is nothing but C sharp logic okay and see here options now let me select HTML when I select HTML it is in normal format okay HTML format this one okay and options this is a bit time taking process I took these options see here I'm, I know I went to options menu I clicked on these options so this is a general format encoding of the test files you know uh, here it is the uh, you know what is encoding format actually we are using this uh, C sharp Java right so basically in the background this HTML format is getting encoded into the Java format or C sharp format. So it has to use some encoding, uh, you know, type of encoding. This is the type of encoding it is it uses. Okay. And what is the default timeout value of recorded command line? It is 30 seconds. It means, uh, say, what, what does this default timeout means? Say for example, uh, here, uh, what we wanted to enter, uh, what is the command here? Send keys. We want to enter a value into this particular uh, text box. What is the value? Laptop. For example, for example, it means we are entering laptop here, right? We are entering laptop here. For example, this text box is not displayed. Say Amazon.com is open, but it is very slow. Okay, it is very slow. In that case, my script, my script will wait for maximum of 30 seconds. Okay, it uh, no, it will come and it will wait here. Okay, it will come and it will wait here. But that is maximum time will be maximum time will be thirty seconds only. Why? Because options under options. If you observe here, this is the default timeout. Okay, within thirty seconds, if my this text box is not appear, if this text box is not appear, my script will throw an error saying that this object is not there. Okay. If you want to see this, see here, let me execute this. So let me do one thing. Let me, you know, delete this. Uh, you know, I'm changing this one. I'm saying something called some XYZ. There was some uh, two. I'm just modifying this. Okay, let me remove this. Uh, let me execute this. Observe here. Observe here. Can you see here? Yeah. Now, can you can also observe this? Actually, I have removed this. No, I said open the slash. 
There is a reason it is an open deal for loans here. Okay, it took the base URL. Okay, now let me enter this Amazon.com. Now let me execute this. Now to say. Can you observe here? It is showing in red color. Okay, so this, this object itself is not found. Okay, so what let me clear this uh, file. Let me execute this. Okay, so if this object is not there, it will throw uh, you know, something like this, error, but I don't think so, it is waiting for 30 seconds, right, what's happening here, let me again execute, immediately it is throwing error, right, because What's wrong here? Basically, it has to wait for 30 seconds, you know, to get uh, that object is to be displayed. Let me see. Is it 30 seconds or 3 seconds? 30 seconds only, right? Okay. Yeah. Here, uh, you know, basically, this is the place where we can say, uh, you know, uh, I know uh, what I can say. Uh, this is the default synchronization time. Okay, and see here, Selenium Core extension. So many of our students have given testimonials on how our training programs are. You will find them on kudzu.com and on our website h2kinfosys.com. On our website h2kinfosys.com, you will also find more detailed information on who we are, the courses that we offer, what each course covers. Also, if you're interested in a demo program, please register on our homepage on the left hand side. Just give us more information about yourself and we will send you a link for a demo class. The demo class is absolutely free. Experience our commitment by just attending an orientation workshop at no cost. Our team of faculty and advisors are here to guide you with the right information. If you still have more questions, please feel free to call us. Call us at 770-777-1269. This is a United States number. If you're calling from the UK, call us at 020-337-1269. 17615. You can also email us at training at h2kinfosys.com or h2kinfosys at gmail.com. Thank you for watching our videos. We wish you a great career in information technology.